Welcome engineers, the races have a problem. Today's problem is getting through the 41st race of the channel. And it's my team, China. Um, yeah, um, power upgrades, thank you. Kind of lots for getting them on the team's car. That was a weird way of saying what I was trying to say. But, um, yeah, we've got getting fuel efficiency now on the car. So that will be helpful and it will come after the Dutch Grand Prix. So, after next... Uh, at the end of next episode which i've already edited so um yeah it's it's a good one by the way uh, this game this is coming out uh, a long time after it should uh, but anyway we're gonna get on with the um, grand prix weekend now so um, here we are at the end of practice possibly now we can get upgrades for um, the other part of the power, once the power upgrades, obviously, because of um, department capacity. And um, so, yeah, here we are, one minute in, and we're already going to get ready to go to qualifying. But we're going to look at the messages first, but we're going to go straight to qualifying. Oh, yeah, by the way, um, Kevin Magnuson, our rival still. Yep, department ca capacity. Um, be realizing that now so we're going to get a um front wing minor jack reduction and um yeah those will all come within the next um grand prix so let's go to qualifying god i messed that up i haven't done this in a while Then there's the engineers making sure that we have uh, the best car. And there's Alvin, and um, we're battling with him into our qualifying lap. And um, immediately put on the anti box light, anti lock brakes as we go for a second lap. As we're two temps up, and we come towards the end, we go on another lap with anti lock brakes off, and we get P20, so P19, the P20. Bloody hell, stop changing it every single time! With okay, um, I should have probably warned, I'll probably warn headphone users. But, um, yep, yeah, there's the, um, well, that wraps Sadie's up on, on the front row. We'll be back tomorrow we but, um, the we're Grand 20th Prix. and we're ahead of Jordan, luckily, but, um, Russell has beaten us. And so has Kevin. Hopefully we can, um, change that for the, um, race to come, and hopefully we can go and um, make up some positions as we get team acclaim and Jordan King's gone up to level 6 meaning he, he adds 12% onto the team and um, we add on 4% still but maybe we can up that as we go towards the race at Shanghai At Shanghai, there we go. It's time to find out which driver is up to the task of claiming the Chinese Grand Prix. We're here in Shanghai. We start a lap here at Shanghai with the long, difficult right-handers of turns one and two, the first of 16 corners that make up this 3.3-mile circuit. The incredibly long back straight provides the best passing opportunity of the lap, with speeds in excess of 200 miles per hour before the braking zone of turn 14. Now, Anthony Davidson, I wonder, might we be in for some early pit stops today for the midfield teams? Or trying to put some pressure on or disrupting things for the leaders up front? If you're in the middle of the pack, you know, you've got your own race to run. I don't think they're going to be thinking about causing trouble up front. However, closer to the head of the pack, don't be surprised to see some split strategies. If you're running second and third, for example, bringing one car in for an undercut while leaving the other one out there longer can put a lot of pressure on the leader and maybe force them into an error. 
it's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Young superstar Max Verstappen starts from pole position, with Sebastian Vettel starting alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Hamilton, Charles Leclerc and Albon, Ocon, Sainz, Ricardo, and Lando Norris, Perez, Raikkonen, Daniel Kvyat, and Grosjean, Stroll, Giovinazzi, Kevin Magnussen, and George Russell, the engineer, King, Latifi, and Pierre Gasly picks up the final grid slot today. Now, it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. So, here we are on the grid now, and um, Pierre Gasly has a um, 10 place grid, um, grid drops, so we have moved up into 19th position, and Jordan up into 20th, which is where our car should be, so um, let's see if we can maintain this position, or even gain positions, as we get ready for the Grand Prix now. We get ready for one light, two light, three light, four light, and the infamous five light, and it lights out and away we go, Russell's got a better start than us, we will get back on him a little bit, but then he speeds away. Same with Jordan King on our right, and we, as we head to turn one, we've gone round the outside of King, and there's a gap. So we go past Russell and more, and um, just got Kvyat ahead of us now. We're going to go side by side with Kvyat. Full 14th position, 13th now. As Lando Norris is, in, is ahead of us in 12th, and we're battling with Kvyat for 13th position. So we're now dropped down to 14th. As Stroll is going to go on our outside, but we're going to go on the inside of Kvyat and the getting a hyper so my voice is cracking sorry for that, about that but we're going side by side with Kvyat can we hold it around the long left hander no we can't Kvyat's got much better down courses on this car so we're going to keep our position for now as we head in towards the final sector now in the long long straight stroll is on our back and he's pressuring pressure us time. as Jeff is complimenting us on that first lap start it's turn one basically um, as we cut the corner a little bit on turn 12, go through turn 13, the long one now, as we get into the slipstream of Daniel Kvyat, where are we going to go, we're in, our, in his slipstream, can we make a move, we're going to go inside, we've got enough speed, so we get rid of the overtake button, so we're going to go breaking into turn 14 now, can we take 13 from Kvyat, we're on the inside, we're going to be powering out the corner now. We've made the move stick and we're into P13 as Max Verstappen takes the fastest lap as he's most likely in the lead of the Grand Prix. As up ahead we have Norris and Perez as we're going on to the second lap now. Go wider um, just at the end of um, end of sector two. So now the act is going to go down our inside going into turn 11. He's, we're a bit far back but we're just keeping in touch through him quite literally we're touching his rear end just a couple of seconds ago but we get back past him onto the main straight so it's no worries but now, because we've got back past him on the main straight he's going to have the um, slipstream as it's only lap two he's not going to get the VRS so luckily we've defended position for the long straight so we go to turn 14 he's taken the inside green flags is a yellow flag for someone retiring is it Sebastian Vettel who decides to get past Kvyat just before the um, yellow flags, even though it doesn't um, penalise you for overtaking in the yellow flags, at least for me. So we're going to go on board. Oh god, that's a big bit of smoke. Uh, too far ahead. When will you realise? You've got to go backwards. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, that is a little bit agy. As um, we need to go into the third person view and play it and get yeah, just smoke, so engine problem for sure. As we go on to the start of lap 3 as it's DRS time. So hopefully we can use that DRS on Lando Norris and not Kavir on us. So as we head towards lap 4, we're close. Leading our teammate by 4 seconds, not too bad to go into lap Science 5. Science is stopping, Hamilton is stopping, but uh, Verstappen is stopping, but Norris and Perez are still continuing. As we go on to the main back straight now, Kvyat is closing in on us. Can we defend this position as we're in P9, now P, uh, in P9, now P8 ahead of Kvyat, 
luckily we've kept the position ahead of him and let's see as we go on to the next lap now there's Norris and Perez and Brighton and Anoff on ahead of us pit and so does Bryce, Leclerc and Albon and we're leading the Grand Prix as we uh, come in for our stop at the end of lap so, um, at the end of lap six um, can we keep have we had led the lap for the entire of in for a whole lap and I can tell you that we have so um yeah first ever time we've led a lap and it's um going quite well for our team so hopefully we can keep our position and um, give our team the best results exit, so exit far now. of this season is to make the pit stop and we've gained on Kvyat as uh, there goes Perez uh, there goes Norris and Perez so Perez has lost out to Norris um, and whilst I was driving I thought Perez was behind us and Stroll was ahead of us so it confused me a little bit so I thought we'd been jumped but no we actually haven't been jumped we've been um, someone hasn't pitted yet so um, they're coming for the pit stop now and it's King our teammate so uh, King led the race after us so two laps led for our team so we're gonna go towards lap nine and uh, nine now, one thirty-seven four, and we're getting closer to Sergio Perez as we set a one thirty-six eight, only just slower than our last lap. And Jeff, him playing about our tire uses, as we get a thirty-seven three. Is Gap to Jordan is 12.4 seconds to go really wide at the final corner. How much does it affect us? Only by 7 tenths, a 37.5. So, not too bad as we head on to lap 13, a 137.7. Not too bad. One second of our previous best as we go round turn three on that same lap it's tough at the end we lose the rear end luckily we don't go into the barrel which i can tell you that i did do at one point but luckily i flashed back it is kevin magnuson is out of the grand prix so yeah we lost out and um gained on that basically as we've um checked back now to see what happened to kevin is um here we are on board to kevin because he's on wider than the racing line so um yeah, it just looks like a um, electrical failure. Um, can't tell you which. I'm not quite the best engineer, um, engineer yet. So as we head on towards the final lap now, the Reds is four seconds ahead of us. So it's not going to be quite position, but it's going to be P12. Our best Grand Prix. <laughs> Jeff ain't happy. He done. He's just moderate, basically. D12 and get the driver of the day. Oh, yeah. Uh, so close to um, points. But, um, yeah. I'm going to leave you with the podium celebration now. What a great race it was. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? Well, this was a real team victory. They put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track. The driver did everything that was expected of them in the moment to really execute the team's plan to perfection. A shining example of how F1 really is a team sport. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team. And they certainly deserve it. Well done, um, Buenas. Um, doing better than the stuff to win that race, unfortunately. Mercedes won three for me, um, starting of three four. But what a race for us! P twelve. We could have got points. Let's have a we were oh so close to points. Have changed. More points for Valtteri but Bottas just for um, solidifying his lead at the um, top of the Close table. enough. We're about seven seconds away from points. Davidson, 
As Bolas was a 134 4 is the fastest lap as we get the drive of the day. Jordan going up um, two positions, but he um, technically only went up one uh, to go past the Williams. And um, yeah, not too bad from Jordan as well as the team. So we go to ninth, even though we still have zero points. That's because we've had better results than both Haas and Williams. And um, here we are with Claire now. You really cut your way through the field today. Well, it, uh, I'm pretty sure it's downforce, but I, I probably chose something else. Yep, power. Okay, yeah. Upgrade. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to upgrade the power. So, yeah. I mean... They are, just to, to see the smile on their faces, it is my team, to be honest. <laughs> my team. <laughs> well, rivals bring out the best in both drivers in this sport, obviously. I obviously said that wrong to what it says on the screen. But we actually finished that race, so we get better than um, Kevin Magnussen. So we gained on Kevin after... I don't think I showed it in the end of qualifying, but um, we go up to level 3 now. Probably did show it, actually. But we go to level 5 now as the combined, meaning that we will actually go up in and get a second, uh, second secondary sponsor, which is technically a tertiary sponsor. But um, 100k added to the 1.89 that we had. And then we have 1.9 as we get ready and gonna fill out some activities now got all four gaps and maybe put two threes in at uh, two twos and then we've got another four gap so possibly put in um funded team event or sassy department focus i mean probably gonna go with the bottom one because it will um, help every single team so um Yep, and then we got a press interview, so um, yeah, got to do the best we can for the team and ourselves. So we're going to promote everything we can, as um, the um, yeah, well, uh, that was great. Um, we well done, guys. Claim, press interview, team HQ. I'm going to see if we can um, re upgrade the that, um, but we don't have enough. Come on, guys! What are you doing? Well, oh, hello, Will. Hello, Will. Sorry, I didn't mean to show it you. I didn't mean to show it you, cameraman. Anyway. Let's talk about your new second driver. Well, Jordan's loving the new car. I mean, it's it's tailored to me, but I mean, Jordan's loving the new car. He's definitely not. He's probably not. I mean, yeah, he's loving the car, mate. He's definitely not complaining to me every single race. <laughs> Have you been focusing on their development? No, um, they've just been putting a lot of hours in the simulator because I'm forcing them. Oh wait, um, I'm not forcing them in the simulator. You've been struggling to get points this. Season. I don't even know what I chose now. Or I chose to simulate one. To um, well, I am um, working on eliminating Dragon at the moment because um, that might that be better. In terms of team orders, your career comes first um, in your well, it's my team <laughs> my team my rules to be honest so um yeah there are team orders even though i can't use them what are your predictions for your team going into this season? um hopefully we can um uh, get some points as we are still finding our feet but um yeah well, thanks so much as ever for your time it's hugely appreciated yep um well done and um uh, Sped up this final part for you. And um, 15th, 22nd, 17th, and 15th. Did I crash at the Oh, I did. Oh, I forgot I crashed at Bahrain. Um, we're going to go with um, a sponsor and we're going to go with Moon because I like the um, look of Moon and it's on my multiplayer car. So, um, yeah. I'm just going to put it where I have it on my multiplayer car. We're going to put it correctly and um there we go um yep yeah. like the new look of the car 
and um, got a new look of the car coming for you for season two. But this is going to be from all from me for now. So until the um, next Grand Prix, which is whatever, um, I'm going to see you at Till I'm going to see you next time. Um, just like, comment um, why you've done that, uh, share with your friends because friends have common interests. And until next time, I'm going to give you highlights. But I've definitely said that incorrectly, but screw you. <laughs>